morning family good morning family welcome back to the channel we are family so when donald and i get back today we're gonna redress our area because right now we don't have anything out and donald can't so say hi to the family Don. hey what's up fam <laughs> right now he can't uh sit out and enjoy the day so when we get back from hanging out today we're gonna come back and set up and probably try to grill or something today we haven't done that in a while we haven't just set out and enjoy the area so today we're gonna drive around oklahoma city and see what it has to offer i'm not gonna do a lot of talking today because y'all done heard me talk and talk 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 so I have to make sure I'm recording because <laughs> for the like sometimes I'll be having really things that I think are important that I need to share with the fan. Mm -hmm. And when I'm telling it, I'm not recording it. And so then when I have to go back and try to retell it, it don't have that same feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Like to have to retell a story over. Like I need to be in the moment when I tell a story Makes so sense. that you can feel what I'm feeling. Okay, so tell them about tell them the name of this place we're going to this morning. Uh, it's either Lake Hefner or Hefner Lake. I don't know which one it comes first and stuff, but uh, it's supposed to be a real nice park, playground area with a little bit of like restaurants and bars and stuff like that around it. Okay, fam, so after we left Hefner Lake, we decided to head into downtown Oklahoma City. Um, the first thing we ran into was the memorial for the uh, 1995 Oklahoma City Federal Building bombing done by Timothy McVeigh. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the place is very well maintained, clean, in a nice area. And it just had a nice somber feeling that make you think about things and peace and life and stuff like that. So Peg and I would definitely recommend that you visit the memorial should you come to Oklahoma City. Hey guys, so we did a lot of sightseeing today. We're gonna call it a day, but we stopped at this barbecue place and you see Donald couldn't wait. I told him let's share the share the food with the family, but it's a barbecue place and it is called Swatley's Barbecue. Swatley's Barbecue. So if you're in Oklahoma City, I'm sure you're familiar with this restaurant, but they give you a lot to me for your money. So I'm gonna show you what we have. So I got the pulled pork barbecue sandwich uh, and fries. It is delicious. It is fantastic. Uh, I was going to put some barbecue sauce on it, but I went ahead and took a bite because I'm greedy. I'm glad I did. I'm not going to put anything on it. I'm going to eat it just like it is. The fries smell really good. I, I would get the fries like a seven out of 10. The fries are pretty good. All right, and I got all you can see is fries, actually. <laughs> you can see the rib hiding behind her. I don't want these fries, so I got me a little side of potato salad. I was going to give Donald my fries. I didn't realize how many fries they gave me. But I just got a little small thing of potato salad. Mm. Next time we're going to share the fries. Yeah, yeah next time we'll just share because it's a lot of food. All right, so the meat, I think the meat is good and tender, and Donald likes his sandwich. I like my ribs, so just wanted to say it was mm. a good place to eat if you decide, if you're in Oklahoma City and you like Swadley's, mm -hmm. or you want to try Swadley's, we recommend it. Mm. Hey guys, so welcome back. Mm. I'm going to make a correction. So after eating that barbecue, I'm gonna say that it was not good <laughs> because it had too much fat in the meat. So yeah. it was not good. They did a good job of trimming the uh, pulled pork. So it wasn't a lot of like fried fat in that, but you can see on the ribs, they had a whole lot, lots of big chunks of fat. So Yeah, So, but the flavor of the meat was okay. It was just too fatty to enjoy. So I couldn't even enjoy it. So that money was down the drain. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we just want to come back and close out the video. We want to thank you guys for watching with us. Oklahoma City did not disappoint and there is even more to see. So we might do a part two of things to do in Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is on a Saturday. So I feel like during the week, we probably could get more done as far as like sightseeing and stuff like that or places to visit like the museums and stuff like that i know they have a cowboy <laughs> i don't know if it's a cowboy hat museum or yeah. boot museum or whatever <laughs> it is. but i mean we laugh but they say it's really really nice yeah. so we probably need to go see that and then i was telling donald I'm like since we're so so close we went to see the Sight of the Timothy McVeigh bombing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I was like, well, we're not so far from Tulsa. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can go take a look at that site from the from we go 1921, there? the uh, the Black Wall Street Black bomb. Wall Street bombing because that's been in the news here lately. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I 
I mean, if we get a chance to, we're going to try our best to get up there and yeah. see it. We just need to see how far it is and stuff like that. So I, I really believe that we'll be able to pull it off this week because we do have another few days here before we have to take off. So I just don't like Donald doing a lot of driving like the day or to a day or two before we leave because we're always driving for hours and I don't want to put that much pressure on them. I really liked like Hefner Lake with all mm -hmm. the uh, what do you call it? They call it kite surfing. We got some really good shots of the people kite surfing. The lighthouse was a little smaller than I expected, but it was still nice to go out there and see mm -hmm. that on a little tributary, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, we went down there. We saw we saw the Oklahoma City uh, basketball stadium. And a lot and, and Bricktown, so it's, it's a lot of stuff to see and do in Oklahoma City. So I'm glad we had a chance to get out. Yeah, Bricktown was really nice. I was impressed with Bricktown. Yeah, like so a baseball if, team or something down there. We just couldn't figure out the parking system, like how to pay for parking. And I didn't want to leave and then have our truck towed because we didn't pay the fine or whatever else. I'm so. gonna add it to one of my pet peeves because we ran into that same problem in Destin, Florida, where you're supposed to use your phone to pay smart for your parking and stuff like that. What, let's just throw a couple quarters in there or something. I don't know. <laughs> or use a card for a parking meter. Because Savannah had a good system. You go to one parking meter, put your card in there, pay for it, and put your little white uh, receipt on your dashboard. Yeah, sure and you're did. done. So, I don't know. That was just a real bad system. We, we spent like 10 minutes trying to figure it out. Then we decided to just go ahead and leave. Yeah, because we, we missed out on showing you guys some of the good parts of... What's it called again? Brick Island? Brick, Brick Town. Brick Town. Brick Town. Yeah. So, yeah, we missed out on showing you a lot of Brick Town. But, I mean, those of you who are from Oklahoma, you're familiar with it. So, it, to me, like I said, Oklahoma does not disappoint. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and close out the video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, fam. Take it easy. See you later. Take me your arms. Do just what you want.